Uh, obviously, um, you know, long break. I feel like we haven't played a lot of games, but we kind of needed that. Um, you know, needed to get healthy, needed to get uh, Curry back in the mix. He's been looking good. Um, you know, get Dupree back in the swing of things. Um, you know, so excited about kind of where we're at at 11 and 2 and 10 and 1 in the uh, non conference. I think is pretty good with the schedule that we've played and the adversity that's hit, like most teams deal with. Um, but now we uh, turn the page to conference play. Uh, and obviously, to go at Madison's very difficult. They're a really good team. Uh, Ethan Happ is maybe the most uh, unique player that I've ever seen. Um, and quite a challenge, poses a lot of challenges. Getting Trice back helps them. Uh, so good, good opportunity for us. Um, see where we stand. What makes Happ so unique? He's unstoppable. Uh, he really is unstoppable. I mean, he if you go one-on-one -on -one with him and – you know, teams either pick their poison of trapping them or letting them beat you with twos. Um, you know, and he's unorthodox. He's not like any, you know, a lot of bigs out there right now. Uh, you know, so we've got to do a good job of, of keeping him uncomfortable. Uh, but his footwork, his, you know, ability to dribble, he's a really good ball handler um, from anywhere on the court. Uh, so he, he presents a lot of challenges. I think that Curry just um, – well, he makes us uh, older, you know, because when you lose Curry, you're putting Daniel and you're putting Jarvis, who are good players, but young players in the fold um, very early. So as hard as it was for those games of playing those young guys, it was good for them. I mean, obviously Daniel has gotten tremendous experience. Um, but Eric, you know, there's six guys on our team that won 24 games two years ago and made an NCAA tournament and uh, – had 11 wins in the Big Ten, which hadn't been done in a long, long time here. And those six guys have got to be able to be the guys that, you know, kind of show the other guys. Uh, so Eric's another voice that was very, very important uh, to that team two years ago. Well, I think he, he's definitely shown great leadership. Uh, that's been his biggest improvement is, is he's, he's, uh, he gets it. You know, Dupree does too. Dupree's just obviously been dealing with his mom and all those things. But I think that, you know, more time passes, obviously. Uh, it'll still be hard for him, but he, he'll get back in the swing of things. But, you know, for Jordan, it's just, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think he's been pretty good right now. It's just a matter of getting better at every little thing that he's been doing. But, um, you know, he's been terrific so far. You know, I, again, I, I think he's playing well. Um, just continue to be aggressive. You know, there's been a couple of games where um, the first half he hasn't had a lot of shot attempts. Like, we need him to do that. And um, it shouldn't be me running plays for guys to get them shots. I have an expression a lot that, you know, let the ball find you. Don't, don't go find the ball. So the more movement that everybody does, uh, the better looks we'll get. Uh, you know, so it's not just one thing with Amir, Jordan. Um, I think it's just, you know, they, they know what needs to be done in this league to win. Eric, how was his mindset? Did you have to manage his emotional state? Yeah, sure. I mean, he was frustrated. He was really frustrated uh, with the recent scope, um, you know, and which I get, you know, because he thinks he's coming back and then a minor setback. Um, you know, but I just told him in the grand scheme of things, man, you still got a lot of time here. Um, we want you healthy. We want you ready. Um, you know, so just, just let's, let's just take it slow. Even if you want to practice right now, like, no, step off. It's not a big deal. Um, you'll be, you'll be fine. You know, it was good to get some good reps last game for him. He's got some good reps in practice. Uh, so I think he looks good and he's confident right now. I th he had six rebounds, I believe, uh, which was really good. You know, that's what he does. He's very, very active. Um, he just seems to keep our defense more connected and our offense flowing because um, he's a smart player. He's a very cerebral player, and he's a really good defender in the post. Um, you know, so I thought that uh, I thought he got a lot out of that game. Um, it was important to do that before we go into Big Ten play. What was Western Kentucky able to do in that previous game? 
Well, I mean, to me, I, you know, you're playing at Western Kentucky. You know, I don't know why they played that game. I, you know, you'd have to ask them. That's a hard game to play. That's a talented team. Bassey's a terrific, terrific player. Um, that's a place with actually really good tradition. Uh, it was probably a great environment. It was sold out uh, right after, you know, the break. Um, so to me, I'm not surprised that that happened. Um, you know, it, it could have happened to a lot of teams in the Big Ten. Uh, so that's a difficult scheduling uh, game. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know why they played. I'm not sure what that was. I know they beat them last year. It was close. Um, you know, they've played a tough schedule, obviously. But, you know, Bassey's terrific. Uh, it was close. And then, um, you know, a lot of times with Wisconsin, it comes down to a couple plays. And they made a couple shots. Uh, Western Kentucky did a couple tough threes. But Western Kentucky's got a lot of talent. Well, we we certainly had it, um, you know, regardless of, of the end of it there. I mean, I thought that we uh, – that game was there for us, you know, but it was two teams uh, who didn't have a great year towards the end. Uh, so I think we're both different teams. Um, you know, there's – Wisconsin's always going to be Wisconsin uh, with how they play. And, uh, again, that's, that's a compliment to them. I think they're very, very consistent. We've had a lot of close games with them. I think um, uh, we've had a lot of them, so hopefully we can break through. Not really, um, and that's not a knock on him. I think he's a good player, and, and I thought he was a good player last year. What about Reavers? Another guy. You know, he's, he's, he's going to be good. He's, he's sk skilled. He's getting bigger, getting stronger. Um, I think last year was when they were going to redshirt him, right? And then they pulled it. Um, you know, so, again, as hard as it is maybe for Greg Gard to play young guys, um, much like we have to do at times, uh, it'll be beneficial for him down the road. I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, you, you never know. I, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I think they'll be ready. You never know. I mean, it's. Uh, I, I like the way we've been practicing. Uh, I think that we played really good defense last game. I think we're understanding what it takes to win in the Big Ten after playing two games. Um, you know, if, if you're going to physically not compete, you're going to lose like you did at Ohio State. Um, you know, you got to scratch and claw in this league. This is a – this is a toughness league, and uh, our guys got to bring it. They did that versus Nebraska. What do you see from Eric's, Eric's relationship with his mom compared to the way it's seen by the uh, Well, Dre, is a, she's a character. I love her. She's one of my favorites. Um, very, very loyal, uh, very passionate. Um, you know, she, she's always quick to send me a very positive text, which you don't get a lot from parents every now and then, so that's always nice. Um, but she's just – she's very, very positive. Uh, with Eric, you know, and she's a great, great influence. Um, she's a great mother, and, uh, you know, we've been in constant communication, and I've told her over and over again, like, listen, we're not – nobody's going to rush him back. Uh, we'll make sure he's in good hands. Just trust us, and she's been great with that. Uh, you know, I mean, I think that uh, with five new players, you know, I mean, we've, we've got five new guys, three freshmen who all play, and two transfers who play. Um, yeah, I, I like where we're at. I, you know, from a record standpoint, 11-2, and two, I, it's, it's weird. It's interesting because everybody looks at Ken Palm as kind of the answer um, from a ranking situation. And if you look at RPI, I think we're top 20, which I know is still a factor. I don't think it's turned totally irrelevant. Uh, KPI, we're top 25. I don't know we are in Sagarin and all those things. So if you look at us, uh, we're, we, we're good in a lot of things, but, you know, we, we've got to get better at a lot of things. I don't think we're bad at anything. I really don't. I don't think we're great at anything. Um, but when you put five new players into a fold and then you have guys coming off of injuries, you know, with Amir, with Eric, um, with Dupree, and obviously being out plus his mom's situation – uh, I think we're going to get better. I don't, I don't think we're a finished product by any means. Well, Ken Palm's, it, it's not, I was talking to Grimmer about this. Uh, they're not rankings. So I know that surprises people. But if you listen to Ken Palm, he's just giving you a formula of offensive efficiency, for the most part. It's obviously a lot deeper than this, but offensive efficiency and defensive efficiency. And it just shows you 
where the teams are at from a predictive nature. See, that's what Ken Palm uses it as. So he said over and over again that Ken Palm is not a ranking system. It's more of an evaluator of how you predict. Um, so, I, I again, I'm not surprised by I think we're, what, in the 50s defensively and maybe 70 offensively. Um, but I do think that after evaluating every single game, it could be like three or four possessions that go differently where you execute a little bit better and those numbers drop. Um, so, no, I mean, I, I think, again, it's interesting because – if you look at Ken Palm, winning doesn't necessarily matter. Um, you know, if, if this was – and this is not – I'm not mad that we're not ranked because I really don't care right now. But if this was 10 years ago, we'd be ranked top 20 probably because we have 11 wins. It used to be about wins, 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 wins. Now it seems like it's about how you win or even not even more so how you play. So would it be better to have a high OE or a – a good OER and DER and not win, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, it is about winning. So uh, I like Ken Palm for a lot, but I don't, I don't think it's the end all be all, but I, I do. I mean, I look at it a lot and I think it's a really good indicator of where we can get better at certain things. I mean, Ken Palm has us, I think we're one of the best teams in the country getting the free throw line and we're one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country. So uh, there's still a long, long way to go, uh, you know, but Finding a way to play better as well as get those wins is important. Thank you.